welcome to my channel. Today's video is this cute little uh, bug deal birthday card uh, using the Lom Vaughan bug deal stamp set, Hey Lady stamp set and the new slide on over maze. So we'll jump straight in. Please come and join me. Okay, today we are going to do some ink blending. I've already got my images cut out, um, uh, stamped, coloured and cut out just to try and make the video a little bit shorter. So um, well, first of all, I'm going to set them aside and we're going to do some ink blending. So I have this uh, rectangle, stitched rectangle that I've cut out and that will fit on my 5 by 7 uh, card with just a little border. We're going to first of all do some um, green for the grass. So I'm just going to check where I want this. So if I want, I want that there. I'm going to be using this um, Lomp on slide on over maze today. I've only just got it through in the post and I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to place that there. So I think that's where I want my um, my green grass to start set that aside. So I'm going to take this up here. I'm going to use this uh, non-permanent sticky uh, tape just to stick it down and make sure that it's, it doesn't move when I'm doing my ink blending. So I want my green to come up as far as this. I'll just straighten it with the edge of the uh, card and stick that down. I'm going to take some twisted citron distress oxide and my blender brush and start with that green, light green first all over this bottom area. So I'm just going to move in a circular motion. I find these um, brushes really good. I've heard somebody call them life-changing brushes <laughs> which makes me laugh but they really are I've told my friend this as well they are a game changer so I'm just putting that down before I move this because obviously it doesn't go right to the end but before I do move it I'm going to bring in my um, mode lawn distress oxide and just put a bit of a darker um, color at the top just to give it a bit of a dimension um, just down the side as well and then I will come back in with the twisted citron and just blend that in at the bottom so you get a nice blend there so twisted citron again and a, a little bit of the mode lawn at the top and the sides just to give it a bit of dimension and then I'm just going to come back in with a bit of the uh, twisted citron and just blend that in okay so I'll clean that up and then we'll do the sky right so I'm just going to cover up the green at the bottom it doesn't I'm doing I'm going to use the um, cloud stencil so um, I won't it won't be too bad at the bottom with this bit here so I've got my blender brush again and I'm going to come in with my cloud so just up the top very similar just light brushing over and I can move that along so that it matches somewhere and I'll just do a little bit at the end here 
Okay. And then I'm just going to turn it round. Uh, come down a little bit and do some more. Turn it round. Oh, sorry, not turn it round. Just move it along a little bit. You don't need a huge amount of ink for this because you just want it to be light. So again, turn it round. Well, you could have it dark, I suppose, but for this card, I'm going to have it lightish, not too, not too uh, defined. So just turn it round there. And a little bit at the end there. And some of this will be cut off. So I'm coming down to the grass. So because I've got that covered, that's fine. I'll just need to be careful on the other side. And turn it around there. And just do some clouds there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm just going to rub my brush over so it's not as white. Right, and that's my clouds done. So I will clean this up and then we'll move on to the next bit. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just take some water and spray that over just to give it a bit of definition and get my paper towel put that over the top and when it dries you'll see that it'll react with the uh, oxide ink and um, we'll have some little spots in the grass and the sky so I'm going to put that to the side and just let that dry for a minute or two. While that's drying, I'm going to take my little images. So I do have, um, one of the images I've got is this magnifying glass out of the Lone Fawn Hey Lady stamp set. I've cut that out with a coordinating die, but I've also cut out a uh, magnifying glass in acetate. Um, and I want to put that behind the um, stamped image so that it's got the effect that it's got some glass in it. So I'm just going to glue that onto the acetate using some Tombow glue. Clear out the uh, gunk. I'm not sure if you can see this because it is obviously clear but I'm just going to put that on the top of the magnifying glass and I've used exactly the same die so it's the same size um, and I just make sure that that's in the right place okay so I'll set that aside to dry just wipe up that little bit of glue and then the other images I will be gluing on um, today. So I've used the Lom Fawn A Bug Deal um, as well as the Lom Fawn Hey Lady. So all these images here are out of a bug deal. We've got the leaves, the pile of dirt, the worm. chrysalis and then the uh, other little bugs in there so we've got a few different ones here that we're going to use on the uh, this card today um, as I say I'm going to glue these down because my uh, top of my card is going to have uh, be ad adhered using some foam tape I don't want it to have too much height on the card
So I'm now going to take my card and decide where I want the slide on over maze to be positioned and I think I want it round about here but I want it straight and I'm just going to take some purple tape and stick that down and run that through my my big shot so I'll just tape that there that one there then I'll come back with it cut out okay you can see here that I've cut out the maze so this is the die, this is the bit that it's cut out, and this is the bit that's left behind. And this is what we're going to use today. So I'm going to set the, the uh, die aside. Now you could um, use this if you wanted and stick that onto your card um, and have the top lifted up. But today I'm just going to have a white background so you can clearly see the little trail uh, that the bugs will be following. So I'm going to set that aside for now and a couple of my bugs are going to have little trails behind them so I have the butterfly which is going to go up here and I have the dragonfly which is going to go here so before I do anything else I'm going to get my trail which again is from uh, Long Fawn A Bug Deal and I'm going to take my Memento Black ink and we're just going to stamp those trails down first before I do anything else while it's nice and flat. So my dragonfly is going to go there and I want this trail to come out and be round about there. Okay. And then similar with the butterfly, it's going to go about there. So I want my trail to be here. Oops. Okay, so that's my two trails. I'll just clean up my stamp. Set that aside. Now, while it's uh, flat, I want to think about my sentiment. So I'm going to use the Lawn Fawn A Bug Deal. And I'm going to use, this is a really bug deal, Happy Birthday. Now, I was going to stamp this in black, uh, but I might do some heat embossing. So let me see, if I stick this down the bottom, and just line it up, around about there, I could do it in white, uh, and heat emboss it which is what I'm going to do now what I do want to do before I start to pour uh, embossing powder on my card I want to make sure that this ink is completely dry so I'm going to go and give it a blast under my heat tool uh, before I do anything else and I'll be right back once I've done that okay so I have dried off my card and I'm now going to line up my sentiment uh, on the bottom, I've got my misty out. I, I always find it useful to to do my sentiments using my misty because I can then make sure that I get uh, a really good impression on the card. Now this card, because it's been uh, wet from the ink and from my spray of water, it's gone a little bit bendy, but that'll be fine. I'm not too worried about that. So I'm happy with that placement. I'm going to bring my misty door over and pick those up. I'm going to take my embossing buddy and just put a bit of powder on my card before I do any embossing. And I am going to take my ink. So this is my clear embossing ink. And I'll just put that onto my stamps. And bring the door over and push that down. Okay, so then I'm just going to set my misty aside. And bring in my coffee filter and my white powder. 
and put this on to my card. And fingers crossed, I always get a little bit nervous around about here. So even though I put this under my heat tool, I can still see a little bit of powder. So I'm just going to take my brush. Right. And I'm now going to take that and uh, give it a blast under my heat tool and I'll be right back. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take some Lawn Fawn... Um, liquid stardust and uh, this is amazing stuff so it gives it just a bit of a uh, sparkle so I'm just going to take some and put it on my block here uh, and just a little bit like that and then I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to flick off the edge of my block onto my card. Okay, and that'll do. So I, I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. Okay, so that was that's dry now. Don't know if you can see that in the light, a little twinkle. Um, I have added some foam tape to the back so that I can now uh, attach it to my card base and this is my card base so it's uh, 5 by 7 inches and it will just sit nicely on there so I've got to take all the backing off the foam tape and as you can see I've put quite a lot of tape on here um, there's quite a lot of not just obviously the four edges of the card um, but there's a lot of bits in the middle that need um, the support from the from the foam tape uh, so I've maybe gone overboard but <laughs> you can't have too much foam tape I don't think so anyway and the last piece there okay so now I want to try and get this straight I'm just going to line it up on my mat and bring it down there and hopefully I'll get this nice and straight on my card okay so that's where I'm going to have it and it's all stuck down and you can see the white trail behind so I'll just tidy away all this foam the backing and then I can start adding my little bugs so I'm going to bring my bugs in and I'm going to place them where I would like them to be so I have my take your pick tool here with the putty end and I'm just going to use that to help me so I know that I want my butterfly there where the trail is and my dragonfly is going to go there where that trail is I then also have uh, this leaf that I'm going to put at the edge there this little guy is going to go there the pile of dirt is going to go here and the little worm is going to come sticking out of the top like that I then want the ladybird to be there caterpillar can go there I've got another couple of leaves that I want to put on the other side here so that one's going to go like that I'm going to put that one there and a little chrysalis is going to come hanging from that leaf this little guy is going to be crawling across the top there and then we've got this jumping 
bug like so and he's going to be saying hey lady and then we've got the magnifying glass so I want him to be over a little bit might even put him across there that hey lady there and then the magnifying glass on top of the ladybird and that's where I'd like everything so I'm going to take my Tombow glue and start to stick everything down And I think, yes, that's all my elements added on. And that's my card. So lovely. I think I, I think I wish I'd done this in black now that I've <laughs> now that I've finished it. But it's still a lovely little card, and it sparkles with the uh, Lon Von um, liquid stardust, which is uh, I'm starting to put on most of my cards now. Uh, and obviously the cute little bugs, one of my favourite stamp sets as you all know because I've made a few cards with those. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!